So I've cleaned up the, the model quite a bit. I've added all the walls, I've uh, changed the faces, reversed the face so everything uh, looks white right now. So everything seems to be in place. The next step that I want to work on is adding windows and doors. So let's see how we can do that. There are two ways of adding windows and doors. One is to create the win windows and doors manually here on the model itself or to bring them from the 3D warehouse. So let's see how we can manually create them. There are, there are some techniques that you can use in order to create these windows. Uh, so windows are usually at three feet. The sill height is usually three feet. So I'm going to give a three foot sill height. So I'm drawing a line using my pencil tool and I gave a three foot height. And I can move my pencil on this line to find that point, which is here. And I draw a line, which is uh, right now it's it looks like a red line so it's actually parallel to the red axis uh, then the height of the window is actually four feet uh, where the sill height is going to be seven feet so I'm going to say four feet and I've drawn a line up to four feet let's find the end point which is here draw another line uh, which becomes red it shows me that a particular line is parallel to the red axis so I have the, the, the width or the height of the window uh, placed correctly. The next thing that I want to do is create some divisions. For this particular window, I want it to be a three panel window. So what I can do is I can use my select tool. I can select that particular line, right click on it and say divide. So when I click on divide, it's going to show me a couple of red dots. And as I move my mouse um, to the right, you, you'll see more divisions. As I move my mouse to the left, you'll see less divisions. And I want it to be uh, three divisions. And I also can uh, easily, what I can do is I can give a number here. I can just uh, say three uh, segments. That's what I want. That's the number of segments that I want. And I can click on enter. And it's going to create uh, three segments on this line. It doesn't show up right away. So what I can do is I can use my uh, pencil tool and move my pencil uh, and you'll find the divisions or the segments like so. So here I have the, the second uh, division or the seven se second segment and I have my three panel window. The next thing that I can do is I can create um, a frame for this window as well. So I can use my offset tool and uh, click and the thickness of the frame is going to be about four inches. So I say four inches and there we go. Uh, same thing here, four inches, there we go, four inches, and I have the frame of the window uh, created. Now I need to punch a hole in the window, so I click, use my push-pull tool, uh, make sure that the, cur the, the window panel is selected, and move it, make sure that it ends here on where it says on edge, on the other side of the, the wall, or the face of the wall, and click and you have a punctured hole here. Same thing here, same thing here. So I have my windows uh, created. Now what I can do is I can do another, I can go another step and create a window, uh, a glass panel in between as well uh, to give it a more realistic look where I have the frame and a glass panel, but you get, you get the gist of uh, what you need to do in order to create it manually. But the easier way is obviously to bring something from the warehouse because uh, windows are some things that are that have been created already so chances are that I can find something that fits uh, my design uh, in the in the 3d warehouse so I'm gonna undo a couple of times so control Z control Z a couple of times so that it goes away and uh, well I can have those lines I can just keep my divisions just just to see how um, this is gonna work with the one that I'm bringing in from the 3d warehouse so in order to go to the 3D warehouse, now you you probably uh, if you haven't downloaded SketchUp 2021, you will probably see um, a difference in the way that the the tools are marked. Now these are all blue icons, which is a new thing in 2021. They've changed the logo, so uh, in SketchUp and everything's blue now. Uh, previously was red, now it's blue. So you will see if you have the 3D warehouse um, the toolbar. Uh, open you'll see these icons here and if you don't see the 3d warehouse all you need to do is right click here and make sure that this is checked 
so you'll get the 3d warehouse toolbar here and you can click on this particular uh, icon and it'll open up 3d warehouse but before you do that you need to sign in to uh, your Google SketchUp so you can click on this icon here which says user info and uh, you can sign in through that and uh, I've already signed in so I've, I'm I'm already there uh, but before you go on to uh, 3D Warehouse, you need to sign in. So once you're signed in, um, you click on the button which gets you to 3D Warehouse. And I've already searched for the 3D Panel window. That's why this is showing up. Otherwise, it's going to be blank. I, I just wanted a 3D Panel window. Uh, so I just typed in 3D Panel window. And by default, it's going to go into pr the product section, uh, which I don't want. I don't want to go into the product section. Instead, I want to see all the models that. Uh, match my search criteria here. So I have a couple of options here. Uh, you can download whatever you want. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to go for the for this particular uh, window. Uh, I'm going to click download, and it's going to say load this directly into your SketchUp model. Yes, that's what I want to do. So load it in, and it's going to come in like so. And uh, I'm going to just place it somewhere here before I place it directly on my SketchUp model. I'm going to place it. Um, on the flow or the or the, uh, the model base rather. and then I'm gonna uh, rotate it using my rotate tool so I'm gonna click on the rotate tool click somewhere and this is gonna be my axis the reference axis and uh, then click again and rotate like so rotating is a little bit tricky so you need to make sure that you're um, you're selecting the correct axes uh, now when you get to this red axis it's going to automatically lock into that particular axis and that's what I want to do because this wall that I'm going to place my window is, is parallel to the red axis so I'm going to snap it there and that's it so the next thing that I want to do is move this window to the, the place where I need to have the window so I'm going to use my move tool grab it from this corner here and place it here it's as simple as that it's, it's all replaced now the next thing that I want to do is scale it up a bit so that it fits the size of the window. So I'm going to use my scale tool, drag it here, drag that here, and that's it. You have your window placed. The next thing that I want to do is I want to create some holes in it. So I'm going to use my push pull tool and I'm going to. I have my divisions, so that's why it's showing up like this. But for you, probably, uh, you will you probably see um, uh, the the entire panel selected. So that's fine. I'm going to click here. And move my mouse to the on edge. Uh, make sure that it's on edge, and click, and there we go. Do the same thing here. Do the same thing here. So there we go. We have our window. We can see through it. So that's how you place your windows. Uh, you can do it for. You can bring any type of window. It's the same thing. If you're going for the dough, it's going to be the same thing. So just create a. Uh, opening and or uh, a frame for the dough and just bring something in from uh, the warehouse and scale it up just the way the same way that we did for the window and you have your dough uh, so in the next uh, video what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an island for this uh, for the kitchen area we have a kitchen area somewhere here I think uh, so I'm going to create an island uh, with a countertop for the kitchen 